couldn't do it. Matt's got Steve. It's fine. Right? It's fine. <laughs> no, it's, it's hard for me to. I was almost smiling. I had to like force myself. Back I know. You I looked was, like, at me and said, "Oh, I can't do it now." <laughs> but you got to uh, do the last part. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> All right, oh, so um, something which lit the internet on fire was uh, we had Evo for 2018, and of course that's when a lot of companies take the time to do character reveals for upcoming fighting games, or in this case, currently available fighting games, but uh, DLC characters. So for Tekken 7, they announced a total of three characters, which is going to be a part of their Season 2 DLC. Um, the first character announced was Anna. And I'm surprised... I don't play Tekken 7, but... In fact, the only Tekken I've ever owned was the original. And Anna is an original Tekken character, so I'm kind of surprised that she hasn't been in it yet. Yeah. She's like the the anti-Nina. And Nina's like kind of like the... Your stock female character for the game. Kind of like the Chun-Li of the series. Mm. Um... But Anna's her rival, so it's kind of weird that Anna's been absent from the game till now. The second one, I'm having a hard time thinking of his name, but it's like Lu Wang or something like that. He kind of looks like he's a drunken kung fu, drunken boxing kind of character. He's kind of like he almost looks like a joke character, and I say almost because he'll do he'll do certain things that a joke character does, but he looks like he's got actually like serious. The Master of the Drunken Fist. But he's got some serious moves. Right. No, the drunk, drunken Fist styles. Real but he doesn't act drunk. It's weird. Like, he doesn't... Like, uh, Spike from Cowboy Bebop. He does drunken boxing. Or drunken... Drunken Max... Whatever. Whatever the term is. I can't think of it. So does Rock Lee. What about that dude from um, Mortal Kombat? The dude who was just, like, always drinking? Bo Bo Shambo like or really Rochambo or something like that. He's got like the that. where he throws up on you. Yeah, he's he's a disgusting <laughs> character. Yeah. I think he he has a little bit of that in his move set, but I didn't really see a whole lot of that. There's just a little bit of a flourish to it. But um, that was the other character, and then of course they surprised <clears throat> everyone by not showing what he looks like in game because I'm sure he's like they they. He's probably nowhere near anything that they can show. Uh, Negan from specifically AMC's uh, The Walking Dead. So, so he'll be voiced by Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yes. Yes. Nice. yes. I'm I'm pretty fairly positively sure. Which is the only yeah, no, he is. Hence yeah. the whistling. Yeah, well the, that that clip was taken directly from, from the show. Yeah. But that's that's fine. Well and it should be him, because I mean and he's the most relevant. The the newsworthy part of this story, even though it's it's just newsworthy to to bring that up, um, apparently some Tekken players are not too happy with this choice. They're basically saying, "Hey, you got Walking Dead in my fighting game. What's going on?" Huh. But I feel like those I feel like these are newer fans to Tekken because Tekken has always had really bizarre characters. I mean, yeah. last season, we have uh, Noctis from Final Fantasy XV. He's a guest character. We have Akuma from Street Fighter. We have uh, Geese from King of Fighters. Gone. Yeah, Gone was in uh, Tekken 3. And, te you know, he's a he's like a, a mon he's this little T-Rex. Little T-Rex with big eyes who's really strong, but he's short-tempered. It, right. Yeah, he, it, it, he's weird. Um, we've had regular bears as fighters. Pan, we have a panda bear named Panda. Yeah. We have a boxing kangaroo. We have Jack the android who is who doesn't talk at all. I mean, we have... It's a series that doesn't take itself all that seriously. So for these fans to come out and say like, Hey, come on, we don't want any of this stuff. It's kind of... It's kind of odd to me. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think most fighting games usually have at least like a few joke characters. But Negan's also like really cool. Yeah, so. but I wouldn't even call him a joke character. No, really. no, it'd be like you know, uh, Link in like Soul Calibur Three. Yeah. Well, I actually watched a or two, 
right? One of them. Yeah. I couldn't remember. I just went with three. Um, there were actually some people that, that said, yeah, I don't think Link fit. <clears throat> Excuse me? <laughs> Link like... doesn't fit a game that's about sword, people with swords and other... I think other it's because weapons. of the bombs and the bow made him a little bit campy. Maybe a bit gimmicky? Yeah. It's, I mean, like, you can, like, totally... You can take the him out from long the range. Only really, the bow is really the only useful item in that, <laughs> in that whole moveset anyway. But even though, like, there are characters that have long yeah. range moves. And I'm sorry, that's the reason Soul Calibur 2 is the only game that I have, because it has Link in it. Like, it got me to buy the game. Well, they did something right. They did something right. So, I'm sorry, I feel like this, like, he fits. I mean, I'm sure he's going to use Lucille, he's going to yeah. incorporate Lucille into his moveset. His super, I can only imagine what that's going to involve. I wonder if they're going to bring bring in walkers at all into it, or him with him like throwing walkers on the other. It's just going to be him bashing someone's eye out. Oh gosh, bashing their like yeah. That's that's, that's his finisher. It's, it's not even them. He's just killing Glenn. <laughs> just and they're so him. horrified that they lose health. They just help. die. Yeah. <laughs> they start. What happened to Matt? They just cry to death. No, I just stopped watching the show after that. Oh. Yeah, I told snap. you. Told you if you did it. St- I haven't seen anything, so yeah, I don't. I don't see what the big deal is. We don't. We really. I think we we all collectively agree. Uh, calm down. I mean, yeah, it's I don't even know. Just about a fighting that, game. If they, if they bring in random characters all the time, then what's the big deal? Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. He he's got a bat. He's a fight. He fights. And we we were talking about Soul Calibur just a second ago. It's made by the same company, Namco. And those teams actually bleed over quite a bit. So, to, so to have like strange guest characters, like uh, Ezio from Assassin's Creed was a guest character in Soul Calibur Five. Darth Vader and Yoda were in Soul Calibur Four, but they complained then too. So, just calm down. It's a nice thing to have. 